I'm shy. <laughs> Go! <clears throat> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, if you didn't know. I'm back after three years. Yes, three years. You're probably wondering what took you so long? Why did you leave? Well, let's just do my makeup and you'll find out. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the soft glam look that's been trending everywhere. Basically, it's all neutral colors, earth tones. It's very pretty and very minimal highlight or gloss, but I'm a gloss lover, so I'll probably do gloss on my lips, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Mindful Five. It is a nourishing face primer serum. You know, I need something nourishing because it's winter, so I just need as much hydration as possible, and I've been liking this so far. So let's talk about why I left YouTube and why it took me three years to come back. Three years? Nah, that's sad. That's like, that's bad. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Pro Concealer in the shade 440. It's a really warm shade, so I like to use it to color correct under my eyes. So we were talking about why I left YouTube for three years, right? Okay, let's talk about it. Honestly, like, let's keep it 110%. You can force, uh, you can make the drink, you can make the donkey to drink the river. No, you can take the donkey to the river, but you cannot make the river to drink the donkey. You can drink the donkey, but eh. I'm not about to lie to y'all. I'm really not. That's not what we're here for. It was laziness. It was laziness. I was juggling, I was a full-time makeup artist. So I was juggling that. I also create content on Instagram. I create smaller, shorter videos. So I wanted to focus on that and I wanted to really grow my Instagram. So instead of growing my Instagram while growing my YouTube, I just wanted to be lazy and just grow my Instagram and then focus on the clients I was taking. People have been asking me like, Vanessa, when are you gonna come back on you? I wish, if I had a screenshot of all the messages that I've gotten about, do you have a YouTube? Do you have a YouTube? Why don't you, YouTube, 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 YouTube. I would honestly, I would be a millionaire. I really think that I would be a millionaire by now. So I decided that 2020, I gotta do better. Like we can't be doing this in 2020. We need all streams of income, okay? And I'm not just saying I came back for the money, okay? It's not because of that. <laughs> I want there to be more black influencers and I wanna teach you guys. I want to be there for you guys. I want to talk to you guys like my friends. And there needs to be more of us. And I feel like there's not enough of us on top. That is exactly what I'm here to do. So I'm using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I'm going to be mixing shades because I just came back from Ghana. And I'm, I'm losing my tan. So it's like I'm in between colors. So I'm going to be using 500C and 520 w so the c stands for cold w stands for warm probably like add in a pump of 560 w to yeah i'm just gonna mix those three together these brands are really killing it with um expanding the shade range and stuff let's see i'm just gonna a few drops it's not my perfect shade but i'm never bothered because i highlight i contour i do a lot let's see look it blends out really good yeah it blends out good there's a lot of light i have a lot of lights around so it's extra bright in here so if it doesn't look like my color on camera it does look like it in person i promise but anywho i love this foundation it's a freaking bomb love 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 it's like a medium coverage 
it's not full coverage definitely not it's not everyday full coverage okay i just love how radiant it is as some of you may know i was a full-time makeup artist i also worked at mac for a few years i believe it was two years yeah i worked at mac for two years i worked at a macy's mac don't forget the neck i feel like when i do the neck i have to be quiet because <laughs> i don't want my voice going like you know what i mean so i'm trying the new hourglass concealers they sent me three shades they sent me umber maple and teak I'm gonna do teak and then I'm gonna do maple. I heard this concealer is really nice, so hopefully I like it. Teak is a little bit more neutral. And then maple is a little bit, it's like golden, yellowy. And umber is very, very warm. Like it almost pulls very orange, but I'm gonna mix the other two and then we'll see. So yeah, back to Matt. I was doing bridal and I was taking clients, prom, shower, anything, you name it. Loved it, absolutely loved it. I had a studio that I shared with a friend at the time. It was great and then I moved studios. The other studio was great. And then I realized that as, as I was doing all of this, as I was doing makeup and doing the Instagram thing, I realized that I didn't want to do makeup for the rest of my life, like do services. Because honestly, it takes a toll on your body. It really does. Doing services, like standing up and doing makeup for about six, seven, I was doing bridal parties. Sometimes I'll do 12, like knock them out in 10 hours. And standing there and on the weekends, I would be, I was slaving. I was booked and busy and blessed. Like, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so glad that and very grateful to be booked and busy. But I had to realize like as I'm getting older, I I I can't be doing that. Like I had to figure out other streams of income. So I ended up stepping back a little bit and I was like, you know what, maybe I should only take bridal. And then also my Instagram started growing. I started getting paid and I was like, oh my gosh, like I could literally keep going and live off of this. You know what I mean? Cannot come and kill myself. Can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. Ooh, this is very warm, like very golden. Kind of like it. I like it mixed though, not by itself. It's not full. It's like trying to be full, but it's not full. So I would say it's like, it's medium borderline full, you know what I mean? Back to not wanting to do makeup till I'm like 40 or 50. Started growing on my Instagram. I realized that I could make money off of that. And I realized that I loved doing it. Like I love creating Instagram videos. I love creating photos. Like I just love creating content. It makes me so much happier. So I started pulling back on doing people's makeup. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. I can only charge so much. <laughs> You know, and I don't want to rip people off and charge like crazy amount just to, you know, keep afloat. So I decided that I'm going to do this influencer thing full time. I need you guys' full support like 110 percent tell me in the comments talk to me tell me what you want to see let's grow together like let's put more black girls dark skin girls light skin girls black girls in general african or not honestly bring each other up and start collabing more like i want to collaborate with more influencers big or small let me know hit me up hit my dms i'm not I'm bougie, but I'm not like stush, you know? Okay. I'm back with full force. Oh, full force. Full force. <laughs> so I'm mixing NC45 and NC42 for underneath my eyes. Don't judge because I like a bright under eye. It gives you that airbrushed face tune. 
under the eye look. I like my under eye to look bright, girl. That's just my preference, so if that's not your preference, you don't have to go that light if you're around my skin tone. Just what I like. One day, I'm gonna be like, it's not every day bright under eye. But right now, that's not what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, I forgot to cream contour. So my favorite cream contour is the Black Radiance foundation stick in the shade espresso i'm so ready for this journey this new journey i'm excited you guys what do they be saying subscribe click the bell for notifications oh like the video thumbs up i'm very excited for this journey don't worry about about it looking messy right now because it's this look is gonna pull through, honey. This cream foundation stick, the color is just right. That's why I like it so much. The color is perfect for me. Once I really like the certain shade, it's like, I'm hooked. If I really like the shade, if I'm like, oh, this shade is right, I'll really most likely love the product. The shade just has to be right for me. That's just my thing. The shade has to be right. So I'm going over with my beauty blender to marry the two together. I would recommend doing this before setting your under eye. I just completely forgot. So I'm just gonna bring back some highlight. Again, MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shades NC42 and NC45. The Studio Fix Powders have always been my fave. They make my makeup last so long. All right, so sorry guys, the camera stopped recording and I had no idea. And I used the Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade blondie and i use it to set underneath my eye so that's all we did so far and now we're moving on to brow my brows take like a decade to do i'll do a separate video for that so i'm gonna do the brows and i'm gonna be right back two thousand years later so my eyebrows are forever sisters not twins okay so don't judge we're now done with the eyebrows voila and we are going in with the abh i really like this eye primer it's pretty good it works just as good as the urban decay so now that i've coated my whole lid with the eye primer we're gonna go in with the trusty jackie Ina palette and this has the best transition shades for dark skin girls so we're gonna go in with ginger it's very beat up as you can see and we're just gonna pop it in the crease a trick i like to do is that i like to pull my eyeshadow out and up that way it gives you like a lifted look by the time you are done look how perfect this transition shade is a transition shade is a shade that you start with that like marries all the shades together basically also the brush that i use is the anastasia beverly hills a10 now i'm gonna be using the shade credit right here and i'm using a morphe m506 and we're gonna be deepening the crease so don't go too high you don't want to cover up ginger it looks amazing, you guys. So I'm going back in with ginger so it looks really seamless. I'm just marrying the two together. And now I'm going back in with the ABH eye primer and we're gonna cut the crease. But you guys, sound off in the comments. Tell me your goals for 2020 and tell me if you've been working towards it i want to see like are you guys sticking to your new year's resolution did you guys even have one now we're gonna take the book of shades from colored rain she sent me this book of shades um insert and i absolutely love it it's Dunnings. She sent me this book and then she sent me singles, but I organized it myself and I absolutely love the shades. So I use the shade Gingerbread. 
all over my lid. You want to use a shade that's a little bit lighter than your natural skin tone. And I just packed that baby all over my lid. It's such a beautiful color. So now I'm going to go in with the beautiful Omrizi palette. We're going to use the BK shade and we're gonna smoke it out at the end. We're gonna do like a smoked out black wing liner. So I'm using a Sigma L04. I did this look on my Insta stories and you guys really, really liked it. So I decided that I'll do it again. But instead I'll do a talk through. I didn't really talk through it. I love a black smoked out wing. I'm going back in with credit to diffuse the top line. This look is fire like. I'm taking MAC NC45 and NC50. I am mixing the two and we are going to clean up that line. But first, we're gonna use a dry beauty blender. Dry, not damp. We're gonna press in the bake. We're not swiping it off, we're gonna press it in. This ensures that nothing is gonna move. That's why I like to press it in. And take your time, press it in, girl. If it takes 10 years, then it takes 10 years. If you want your makeup to look bomb, Take your time. I was talking to my friend and she was watching my stories on this look and she was like, what I noticed that you do is that you really take your time. And I'm like, yeah girl, like makeup can't be rushed. You want to take your time. But at the end of the day, we make time for what we want, right? So it just depends what your priorities are. So after you press it in and you might feel a little bit dry or a little bit too bright. All you have to do is go in with your setting spray. You'll be back to magic. I use a setting spray. And if you feel like, oh my gosh, this is too much powder, Vanessa. I'm looking like I'm kind of scared ready. Take this and drench your face with it. Boom, boom, boom. Look, honey, I'm glowing again. Hello. The reason why I use so many powders is to really set the makeup so it stays. So anytime I'm feeling like, oh crap, I put too much powder on, I just take some setting powder, especially the Morphe one, amazing. A really good one too, the ABH one, do we set? it will literally bring your makeup back to life. So don't worry. I mean, I'm not telling you to put 10 pounds of powder on, but put like five pounds. Now we're gonna get into bronzing the skin. We're gonna bring some color back. So I'm gonna use the Morena Beauté or Beauty. It's Beauty or Beauté. This is my favorite bronzer in the whole world. This is my second pan. I need to get more, but this is in the shade 300 E bean or eben or i don't know how to pronounce it but it's e b e n with apostrophe or with a little accent on all right so we are going to bronze up the skin i'm obsessed literally obsessed with this powder my tip with this powder or any powder is to start light and then build your way up. We are going to bronze the forehead. One of my favorite parts to make it look smaller, even though my forehead is not that huge. So I'm going in with my MAC NC45 and I am blending the two together. So beautiful. New Year's resolution, become a better talker. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade Kunaf, Kunafa in the Huda Beauty baking powder. And we are going to clean up my contour and then we're gonna press it in again. 
Kunafa is just a darker shade. I don't I didn't want the shade that I used for my under eye to be as bright as down here. See how it just melts in fire. Now do you see the difference? This side looks a lot cleaner than this side. Bomb. So now we're gonna contour the nose. I am using E70 medium angled shadowing brush from Sigma. And we are gonna just snatch this nose. Okay, first of all, 2020, we're gonna learn how to talk smoother, talk cleaner, talk fluent. I can't come and embarrass myself. But also, you know, I can't come and kill myself. English is not my first language. <laughs> In 2020, we are going to manifest everything that we want. We are going to think, we are going to practice, we are going to breathe, we are going to write down every goal that we have and make it happen, period point blank and every day we are going to work towards it we are going to make sure that we get that because what we're champions honestly i do the color for the gram this is truly me and what i love a lot of makeup artists can relate to what i'm saying right now all right so now we're gonna go in with blush i'm gonna be using mac blush and it's called devil i hate the name with a passion but this blush is really beautiful and i rebuke the devil all right so we're gonna put it on boop, 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 boop. this is sigma f15 i'm gonna really try to do a matte lip with no gloss I like never do that, so I think it would be cool to do it. Bring it all the way up, don't be afraid. Blush is the first thing that fades off your face, so if you go a little bit overboard, don't be mad at yourself, it will fade. <laughs> or don't freak out either, it will fade. It will fade, fade away. Now we're gonna take my all-time favorite black eyeliner. This is in the shade 77 the blackest black eyeliner I have ever come across so far. This is a brush E06. Then I'm gonna take the brush L04. Whoa, I had a slow moment right there. You guys will learn. <laughs> I have a lot of those. Anyway, taking the shade credit and smoking out that black gel liner. And I think I wanna brighten up the look a bit. So I think I'm gonna shade, I'm gonna take a lighter shade from the Colored Rain book. And I'm going to place it like right in here. So I'll tell you guys the shade. The shade I'm gonna be using is Angel Face. So that one right here. Ooh, oh my gosh, wow. You guys, that took it to the next level, didn't it? Oh yeah, this is it. This is it, I can put my eyelashes on and like, and leave. So I'm gonna take my favorite lashes ever, Lily Lashes So Extra Miami. I'm gonna stack them because I'm just that girl. So I stack them and I'm gonna be using the House of Lashes Lash Glue. All right, last but not least, we're gonna do our lips. I'm going to do a matte lip. I like never do matte lips, so I'm excited for this. This is Wet n Wild Sima Brown. I love this liner because it, it's very neutral, not too warm. A lot of brown liners are a little bit too warm. All right, now that I have my base, I like to put down a more warm lip liner. This is Gerard Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Mudslide. So this is my secret to my nude lips. Use two lip liners. I feel like when I use one or the other, it doesn't pop as much. And now I'm gonna use 
the Huda Beauty Board Meeting Matte Lipstick. What a wow. So I'm adding Peachy from ABH just to the center to give me that like pouty look. This lip is fire, period, period. And we are finally done after a bajillion and a half years. We are finito. Let me know what you guys think of this look below. I am obsessed. I love this look so much that I would wear it on my wedding day. Like, you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm a YouTuber now, not just an Instagram beauty guru. So help me out. Share, hit the button to get notifications because I will put you on to give you my reviews. I'll give you my opinions. I will motivate you and it's gonna be a fun ride. So until next time, Toodaloo!